Welcome to Data Doctor's Video, Suggestion 131. No dates, no dates on relatives, open, unknown status. First, let's discuss the name of this suggestion. There are no birth or death dates for this profile. There are no birth or death dates for any of this profile's relatives. It is an open profile, meaning anyone can edit it. Unknown status means it's not known if this person is still living. If the birth date is determined to be less than 100 years ago, be aware that the profile will automatically change from an open to a locked profile and, unless you are the manager, you will be unable to proceed. Check the uncertain but non-living box first in the death field to prevent this. Suggestion 131 is caused when the profile has no birth or death dates. The best solution is to find sourced dates. Next would be to estimate the birth date based on relatives information and add the estimated date template with the description of what you based your estimation on. Here is the suggestion report for Jack Doré showing only one suggestion, 131. It has no birth or death information, nor anything in the info column. Here is the public profile for Jack. It lists his father, his wife, and one child. Hover over his wife's name until an info box appears. There are no dates on her profile. Hover over his son's name. There are no dates on his profile either. Nor are there any for his father, Jean Baptiste. The only date given is the year of Jack's marriage, 1775. On the right, click on Root Search. Based on his marriage, add an estimated birth year of 1745. Root Search offers several sites to choose from. Let's start with Family Search. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Family Search gives no records, but it does offer a family tree. Click on the first link. Since all the relatives' names match, we can be pretty certain we have the correct person and family. This screen shows a birth year of 1747 and a death year of 1821. With these potential dates, I checked with Ancestry next. It listed two records, one for his birth and one for his marriage. I also found one for his death. Return to his profile and click Edit. On the right, under his wife's name, click on Edit Marriage. On the next screen, add the full date and place. Mark Certain and click Save Marriage Changes. On his Edit Profile, in the Data section, add the birth date, add the birthplace, add the death date, and the death place. In the Editing section, remove the unsourced template. Write a short biography based on the sources. Place the cursor after the first sentence and click the Citation button above. Add the birth record from Ancestry between the ref tags. Repeat this process for both the marriage and death information. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggested number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Take this opportunity to add relevant sources to this person's relatives' profiles. Return to the suggestions report 
and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, Corrected. Leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.